What's up guys, it's Ten Kosh and today on the Hate Star we are doing the combo tutorial for the beginner players obviously. How to clean the red stars level 1, 2 and maybe 3, how to fight enemies and that will actually show you overall combat mechanics, how the enemies work so you will be efficient in that and we will do this on the example of the um, red star 2 because uh, I can't beat red star 3 yet, I need better weapons. So, uh, Red Star 1 is pretty easy, you go in, you destroy everyone, you get the resources. In Red Star 2, you will start getting issues. First of all, which ships do you want to take with you? You would like to take uh, two battle cruisers, one miner and uh, three uh, transports. Miner is optional, it's not necessary, but when you get him, get him on the nearest asteroid field as soon as possible and activate the mining boost straight away so you don't worry about them after that now what's the problem with the area first of all if you want to get the rich asteroid field you will have to fight several enemies it's better to do it together with the uh, teammate but if he is lazy you won't be able to do that another problem is our enemies when the guardian is in front of sentinel you have issues because you want your ships to start shooting on the sentinel first in order to overcome that, you want to send the ship with your strongest shield, we have the passive shield here that's OP, but you can activate the Alpha or Delta shield in the normal ships, and you want to send them that way, um, so the Sentinel will be in front. So send both of your ships at the area, if you are, sh like, that's, I don't know if he's strong or not, okay, he's good enough, so he might be able to do that. But usually you don't want to do it like that. If you arrive like this with your two normal ships, you will most likely lose because those guys will destroy you. You won't be able to beat them. But for us, we are making the strategy tutorial here. So we, there we go, we managed. We attack the damage dealer first and now they only have the tank. And the tank will be destroyed no problem after all the damage dealers of the system are gone. So you don't want to rush straight to the enemy. You want to go around it using the asteroids, waypoints and stuff like that to get in the back of the enemy. So for this fight, I would go through this area, through this asteroid uh, and attack this asteroid on the right first. So we will destroy the sentinels before um, fighting the guardian. In this situation, look at that, he lost both shields and he's lucky that he have powerful weapons, level 3, in order to overcome the enemy damage. Otherwise, that would be the problem when everything is destroyed, when you know that everything will be destroyed, let's put it like that, when you're sure about your powers, you can send the transports straight away. Uh, be careful though, because the transports are getting one shot by the enemy, so if the enemy will hit your transport, they are done. In this situation, for example, when you're flying and there is an enemy, you don't have to be worried. If your, one of your ships took aggro, the transport won't get the aggro in any case, so it's safe. It's safe to do it like that, to send your battleships, if there is one Cerberus or one Garden, you know that it's safe, send your transport straight away. Um, as I mentioned in the first video already, I advise you guys to upgrade your Miner to level 2 and then upgrade your transports to level 2 and get them a level 4, 4 tons capacity. That will help you out to carry those artifacts easier, because they are heavy, they weigh 2 and the next year artifacts weigh 4. So that way you can take two artifacts and uh, send them back home when ready. Three transports will be enough to carry most of the stuff from the enemy system, from the enemy Red Star. And maybe, maybe you'll be able to take those uh, level one things with you as well, because in our situation, they are close to our base, so we can destroy them. Okay, he went there. So we don't want to spend our fuel on this fight, we go straight away to our uh, waypoint. Always, always send your ship to waypoint so you won't forget about that. The time you have here, 15 minutes, it's not that much. It's not, like, usually it's enough to do everything, but be sure to give those orders to the part when all artifacts are harvested and all that, in order not to forget about that. Because if you will come here later, like two minutes left and, and you're far away from your base. I mean, in this case, we have enough time, but you risk your ships and they will be destroyed. If the time will run out, everything that's here will be destroyed. You will lose all your ships and that's an expensive lesson. You don't want to do that, guys. 
you don't want to do that. Now, if this is your highest level uh, red star, you want to send your miner to get this rich asteroid field. In my case, I won't do that because I can go to red star level 3 and get the stuff over there. So, uh, you can harvest only one. Only one rich asteroid per day and you don't want to get the lower tier one if you can get the higher tier one for sure. Alright, so yeah, uh, take control of your ships. Right now, we will get this transport back to this jump gate, send him back home, we have time, and then we'll send him back here and get the level 1 artifact as well for extra loot. That will give us extra money. Jump all docked ships, yes. Alright, going back home here, sending them to the research station. You can send them to the nearest planet as well to drop them off. If you are really in a hurry, if not, you can send them to the research station, it's good. And we will sell them, because we can get the higher tier ones. If you can get the higher tier artifacts, get them and send them here for the research level 4 ones. Those are the best for noobs. You can get them from your uh, corporation teammates. But early on you have to rely on, the, on your own strength, on, the, on your own strategy, so you do that. Alright, it's here. And we scavenge them. 800 resources right here, 800 gold. And we send this ship back to the Red Star. We go to the Red Star. Our transports are going back. We harvested both planets at the top. We have only one at the bottom. And this one is almost complete. Don't forget to get your miner back. I've seen so many people losing their miners because they forgot about them. Sending your miners out, maybe two of them, because uh, you can harvest the extra asteroid fields out there. Sending two of them will uh, lower your hydrogen use for each run, but will add you some micro control. Personally, I found it useless uh, as I upgraded my miners to level two. Uh, they harvest enough hydrogen in my own system, so I'm not running out with my daily activity. I'm playing it maybe two to three hours a day. So it's all good. I can stay in my, in my home area and uh, like send them harvesting resources here and that's enough for me. I'm not running low on hydrogen most of the time. Alright, so we can send this ship back now. Don't forget to turn off jump all dock ships to avoid extra costs. Send those guys to the research station to dismantle the artifacts. So basically that's how you go for um, Red Star 2. Be mindful, be really careful to fight the enemies from the right side. If you fail, if you see the fight isn't going your way, you have to send your guys out. So, for example, if this is a combat ship, let's imagine that this is a combat ship going for the fight here and you did manage to get the aggro of the secondary target and you feel that your ship might be destroyed, you add a waypoint either going back home or going to the different system if it's safe and that will allow you, like, like to, to fly away from the enemy. So your ship have a chance to survive. It's not guaranteed to survive if it's weak enough, if it can be destroyed before it will fly away, but with Delta Shield or Passive Shield, usually you can withstand the damage of one Sentinel and one Guardian and flee. Even better to fight at the edge of the system. We'll talk about that in a second. So I'll carry that stuff home and I'll show you the next team. So, okay guys, now we'll try to destroy the base with our two battleships that are not really strong. We have only level 2 weapons and level 1 passive shield on one and active shield level 1 alpha shield on the second one. So, we will get closer to that area. And uh, I will show you how the range works. That's uh, actually really important and we will probably have to flee as well because there is a star base and we will have to take out enemies. So, this is a complex operation for me. Because the enemies are stronger than my fleet, I need better weapons that are not developed yet. So in the perfect situation, this front ship would have, uh, let's say, dual laser or barrage cannon that attacks several enemies and the, uh, um, what's the last shield? The powerful shield, this one, the Omega shield, and the second ship should have the shield that we have on this one passive and the laser for single target damage or upgraded single target weapon. In our situation we have two weak single target weapons and we'll have to use that. In order not to get in trouble 
we will try to pull those two guys down here. Um, I will even do this. I will send this guy up here. So we will take aggro of Sentinel first because he's doing most damage. And then we will pull the guys to this asteroid at the bottom. Okay, did we send everyone off? No, that's what I was talking about. Don't forget to jump the ships away. Otherwise, you might have issues. And there we go. We are on our position. So what do we do? The option one and the one we will use, we will fly to this asteroid. 35 seconds. Okay. For this one, it takes 31 seconds. One, two, three, four. They will arrive at the same time. This one will take aggro and hopefully will destroy Sentinel before attacking the Guardian. No, it didn't work. Look at that. They moved too. So who will take the first damage? Oh no, that's horrible. That's the worst. So we'll have to flee now. We'll have to flee. We'll have to use the waypoint out there. Otherwise, our ships might be destroyed. They can be destroyed right now as well. Like we are in a really bad situation here. But since we're fleeing, as you can see, we can try to run away without taking too much damage. That guy is already out of the range. Kinda. All good. All good. The second can survive. We will get the shield on too. There we go. So now we repair and we will try again. But this time we will go to this asteroid field. We will be able to take these servers down like that. Uh, we need to repair ships though. We need to be at the full capacity, full shields, full everything for this. I wonder if enemies repair themselves as well though. All right, our ship have recovered, but the enemies didn't. So now we can fly on this asteroid down there and most likely most likely we will be able to destroy the server sentinel first and our ships should be enough to totally destroy the enemy here all right they're going right one after another that's good so that's how you use your asteroids around the area and then we'll try to destroy this star base outside of the range from that asteroid we will try because if we won't deal with those guys the spam here will be really hard to beat for me myself and I like to do stuff myself you know solo so yeah uh, let's see how it will go we might be needing to flee again to retreat when one of the ships will be destroyed but if we'll get lucky and the Cerberus will take the aggro next we should be okay or maybe we will get in trouble and get oh my god not again that's horrible all right all right that doesn't work really well for me this time so we were we are going out again and God damn it. So, since we have the good shield, we survived this. And that's actually really good. Both of those are really injured and the next time we will take those guys out. Maybe even one of those will be destroyed now. Yep, nice, 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 nice. That's really good. So next time we will get here, they will go down. So that's how you do this. If this ship would have the weapon, that targets several enemies though that would go so much easier you just tank them and destroy them but for the newer players that doesn't work all right we are ready for another go yet another attempt and now we can go straight to this asteroid because uh yeah even if this well there is no way to reach the sentinel before breaking through guardian but he will die way faster by the time we'll reach his radius this one will go down i'm only wondering like if we can take this star base from that range outside of its range that will be interesting if it's possible that will be really really nice but yeah base have to be destroyed because it will spawn so many enemies and it will be annoying yeah, as i said this one is going down bam and now we got the aggro from the second guy and he's been destroyed no problem as well so now we have all, only the base here now uh, waypoint there and here will it be enough that's the main question will it be enough can we attack him from that star let's send the second one as well because you know that might work all right and if we can destroy the star base from this range that would be really cool but that's usually won't work in the red stars because you will face the mobile units they will go towards your location you can go to the asteroid somewhere here outside of the range and they will come to you as well so you don't really have to go all the way back that will save you some hydrogen when you're uh, cleaning the red stars so for example if we're living from this is the gate and this is the enemy system 
we will go here, the closest point, and they will come to us and we will destroy them. So you will you will figure out yourself when you will try it. But the main uh, hint for you guys is that you have to go behind the enemy and if possible take out the powerful guys first and if you have issues run don't worry about that ships are expensive no out so close look at that so close but not enough oh my god okay let's go and try to deal with them normally i wonder if we'll be able to beat through the shield though shield is 20k oh my god and 20k who but yeah, it's a slow, slow process, so it's, it's actually working really well. In this situation, laser would be the best option, guys. Yeah, but if we don't have the laser, we have to rely on our own weapons and time our um, retreat properly. I wonder what kind of shield do they have? <laughs> All right, so I want to take like maybe one third of the health damage and then flee because otherwise I'm risking a little bit too much. Because my ships aren't that strong. And let's go. And oh, let's go. Go, go, go. Okay, T time to move. And uh, yeah, that's nice. That's nice. So we're outside of their range. Second ship can take some extra beating. It's okay. We almost destroyed the shield. So we will need three runs on the enemy in order to destroy the star base. If the shield won't be recovered, though. If it will be recovered, well, that will be problematic. Regeneration delay one hour. All right, so it's not a problem, guys. One hour regeneration, you can do it if you've got the star base, even with the weak ships, with the technology, with the hints I've got here. I hope this guide was useful for you guys. Uh, I can tell you more about the fight right now. I can tell you about the good modules that I saw on the high end uh, vehicles. We can actually make a visit. Uh, we have the link here. Let's go uh, visit star and take a look at how the top players build their ships. Here is the combat ship number one, they have three. So it have the laser, Omega shield, salvage, uh -huh, uh, barrier, sanctuary, it's important. That way you can flee uh, from uh, the fight. So the ship won't be destroyed if we fail and the teleport to go behind the enemies. That's really smart. This one have the mass battery, Omega Shield, Sanctuary, Barrier, Salvage and Teleport. So we have one laser, one battery, and this one have laser as well. So as I said, one have the battery for three enemies and others have the lasers. Everything else is kind of the same. Oh no, we have the Suppress here. Prevent a single enemy ship from firing for a small period of time. All right. So that's the build the big guys are using. <laughs> so yeah, that's about it. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell button and the like button because that will help the algorithm to find the video. Write your additional tips in the comments if I did something, did tell something, uh, did told something. If I missed something, other people will see it. And uh, check the pinned comment in the video description for additional links. We have fantastic Discord, uh, guides, playlists, everything, a lot of useful stuff over there. You will find something good for sure. And thank you very much for watching. I appreciate that quite a lot. Have a good one, guys. Stand, wash out. Bye.